Fossils are a great way to learn about the animals that used to walk this earth, but sometimes it seems as though we find the animals in these fossils still alive today. The term living fossil is heavily criticised today, and that's because it can be quite misleading. Even though some modern day animals look almost identical to fossils, they have undergone millions of years of evolution. They may have changed very little over this time, but they are still different animals, and that's why this term is being phased out. In today's video, I will be focusing on groups of animals that were only known from the fossil record, but then showed up alive and well somewhere on this planet. Some of these creatures were thought to be extinct for hundreds of millions of years and some of them were thought to be extinct for thousands, but they were all rediscovered over the past few hundred years. For our first group of creatures, we can head to quite a few countries around the world, as we will be taking a look at the lungfish. Lungfish are a group of freshwater vertebrates, and they represent the closest living relatives of the tetrapods. There are currently six species of lungfish alive today, and these species can be found in Africa, South America, and Australia. The fossil record of this group dates back to the early Devonian period, around 410 million years ago. The earliest members of this group were marine animals, but all of the lungfish alive today inhabit freshwater environments. These creatures are among the hardiest aquatic animals on this planet, and this is how they've been able to survive for so long, mostly unchanged. The majority of lungfish only breathe atmospheric oxygen, but the Australian lungfish is able to breathe through its gills. This means that when water is scarce, they can still survive, and they do this by covering themselves in mucus and burrowing down into the ground. They can spend a shocking amount of time in this state, as some species can survive for a few months, and it's believed that the West African lungfish can do this for a year. These animals have seen many creatures come and go, but they've managed to stick around for an astonishing amount of time. Many of the lungfish species were thought to be long extinct before they were discovered, but thankfully these remarkable animals are still alive today. The next creature we will be taking a look at can be found off the coast of Southern California, and it's not a particularly impressive species. It's a small species of freshwater clam, and it doesn't even have a common name. Even though this clam may not be impressive, its story is, as this creature is only around 11 millimeters long. For many years, this species was only known because of a few specimens from the Pleistocene, but they were rediscovered in 2018. It was believed that it went extinct more than 40,000 years ago, but this all changed when a marine ecologist went rock pooling. Jeff Goddard was searching tide pools for sea slugs when he came across a strange clam. Jeff then photographed the clam as he didn't want to disturb it, and then he shared the images with his colleagues. Nobody seemed to recognize the creature, and later on in 2019 they captured a wild specimen. This is when they realised that it was the same species as a clam in the fossil record, and this species didn't go extinct after all. The most shocking thing about this story is the size of the clam, as it would be so easy to miss it. For most people, this creature would be extremely forgettable, and you might not even notice it if you were looking into a tide pool. This could mean that there are many other so-called living fossils out there, but you would need to be an expert to identify them. So even though this creature is pretty unspectacular, it has an amazing story, and hopefully there will be more discoveries like this in the future. For our next species, we can head into the deepest oceans, as we will be taking a look at the goblin shark. The goblin shark is a rare species of deep sea shark, and it's the only extant species in its family. This group of sharks dates back to around 125 million years ago, and they remain mostly unchanged today. Because this shark is mostly a deep sea animal, you're very unlikely to come across it. This is why it eluded humans for so long, but it was first described in 1898. Before then, this group of sharks was only known by fossilized specimens, but it turned out that they were very much alive. These sharks are oddballs of the shark world, and they can grow up to 6 meters long. Their skin has a strange pinkish tone, and they hunt by slingshotting their mouth forward. They are mostly ambush predators and they're known for being placid and slow moving, and they feed on a variety of fish, crabs and squid. This species is truly one of the most interesting sharks still alive today, and there could yet be more creatures such as this in the deepest parts of our oceans. For our next group of creatures, we can stay in the oceans, as we will be taking a look at the leather urchins. 
This common name refers to an order of sea urchins, and these sea urchins are distinguished from other sea urchins by the combination of a flexible test and hollow spines. The test is the hard shell that you see on some other sea urchins, and the lack of this was part of the reason why these creatures were so hard to find. These creatures mostly live a peaceful life feeding on detritus, but they are sometimes preyed upon by crustaceans and other marine predators. For many years, this group of animals were believed to be extinct, and they were only known from fossils. There had been a few supposed sightings over the years, but their tests would soon disintegrate after they died. This meant that it was very hard to collect a specimen, as only parts of the animal were preserved. This group of animals dates back to the middle to late Jurassic, and they were thought to have disappeared millions of years ago. This was until the 1870s, when a few living members of this group were rediscovered. They were discovered after the Challenger expedition started to explore the deep sea, and of course the Challenger expedition would also discover many other creatures. Thankfully, there are quite a few species of leather urchins still alive today, and they live very peaceful lives on the ocean floor. The final group of animals we will be taking a look at are possibly the most famous, and they do have the most exciting story. Coelocanths are a group of ancient lobed-finned fish, and they are closely related to the aforementioned lungfish and tetrapods. In fact, they are more closely related to us than they are to ray-finned fish, and this group of animals dates back to the Devonian period. They were believed to have gone extinct in the late Cretaceous around 66 million years ago, and we had plenty of fossils of them. One of the most interesting things about this story is that it happened relatively recently, and we didn't only find one species, as we actually found two. The first one was discovered a few days before Christmas in 1938, and it was caught at the mouth of a river in South Africa. This fish had been caught in a gill net, and it was later taken to a local museum in a small South African town. A South African ichthyologist was alerted to the discovery, and this creature was eventually identified as the West Indian Ocean coelocanth. It's amazing that this creature managed to avoid humans for so long, and unfortunately today it's listed as critically endangered. This species is known for being a beautiful blue colour, but the other species of coelocanth is not as vibrant. This second species of coelocanth went undetected until 1998, until it was caught off the coast of Sulawesi. This species was more of a brownish colour, but apart from this difference, the two species are very similar. Thankfully, this species isn't as rare, but it's still vulnerable, and it can still be sighted off the coast of Sulawesi today. These creatures prefer deep rocky areas and they spend a lot of their time in caves, and this is part of the reason why it took us so long to rediscover them. Hopefully more discoveries such as this will be made in the future, and we'll have new prehistoric looking creatures to learn about. If you think there are any other animals that could have made it into this video then let me know down in the comments below, but for now thanks for watching and until next time, goodbye.